Okay, so here's where I started day two um, eating, uh, of course. So my sister and I went to this restaurant called Aperol, I guess is how you say it. Um, and I had a lobster or seafood lasagna. It was banging. And then um, while we were trying to eat, if you're wondering why my sister has this crazy face on her, while we were trying to eat, this lady is like smoking her cigarette and it's blowing like directly down our throats and we're like choking trying to eat. But gelato makes everything all better. It was so delicious. Oh my gosh, take me back. So then we went back to this little, you know, shopping area where um, a lot of tourists go, but mainly we went because we didn't get to shop that much when we were with the guys. <laughs> The Duomo at night is gorgeous. Duomo. You know I can't speak uh, very good Italian. Italiano, however, I know how to say bella. Molto bella. Now, before my night turned into this madness that I call a freaking amazing time, it was this. <laughs> turn down we're on to the next day so these are some of the sites that I saw while my sister and I were headed to go see the Navigili which is a really really cool canal that is a part of Milan <laughs> That's white chocolate, Amanda. Do you have any other white chocolate? Uh, the dark chocolate, white chocolate, mint chocolate, and chocolate blue. Oh. You can choose your ice cream, and I can put the oh, chocolate. Oh, okay. Um, wow. Is there any way to get that one that's strawberry sorbet and yes. dip it in white chocolate? Yeah. Oh, can I do that? White chocolate. White chocolate, please. I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind if I'm recording okay. it. <laughs> I'm only doing your hands. Speaking of how you can. Okay. Well, I don't know how to say any of that. Sorry. 
I cannot explain to you guys how divine this was to my entire soul. Like, it was so amazing. But anyway, throughout the rest of our trip, we saw all of these sights at the canal. I mean, it was just so pretty. And during the summer, you know, there's usually water in there. And I had a goofy moment, you know, we're just goofballs. But uh, this place was just so amazing. And it kind of left me with an aura that just made me feel good. So uh, here is everything else that I saw in the meantime. Mmm, cake. Then after a few cappuccinos, a nice clean subway ride, hallelujah, some amazing dinner, and drinks with my friends and my family. Honestly, that concluded an amazing trip and I could not have asked for more. So big thank you to Mario and Carlo for showing Ray Dawn and I an amazing time. Headed home on the bus by myself. Um, headed to the airport right now. I just wanted to show you guys some scenery real quickly. In arrivo alla fermata, Capone. stuff that I'm bringing back with me. Um, it's really heavy, but I'm going to try to make do. It's about a seven and a half hour flight, eight hour flight. Um, stop over in JFK, then I um, go through customs, and then after customs, um, I can fly to North Carolina and be done. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm probably going to sleep on a plane, so you won't see much filming on the plane, so just uh, don't be looking forward to that. I made it to JFK. Um, the flight wasn't so bad. Uh, can't really complain, I guess. Uh, we got a bunch of meals and stuff like that. You, well, you know how it is when you're on international flights. But then I had to go through customs and that took a while. And that wasn't fun. Um, but last step is to just go to RDU and finally be done with all this traveling. I feel like I spent more time in a plane than I did on vacation. Even though it's not true, but whatever. Um... So yeah, I guess I will just see you guys after I edit this and upload it and talk to you then. Bye!